Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series. So, looking at my base, I've done a lot of good upgrades with my gold. I've started to upgrade a lot of my walls. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this Archer Tower right here, but as far as Elixir goes, sort of running out of things to upgrade. Like, I have some small things left, like this gold mine right here, and maybe a storage or two. I think I can upgrade my barracks to the next level and unlock the wizard, but after that, I'm really running out of stuff to upgrade. I might have one upgrade left in my lab. I think it is the goblin to level three, uh, but after that, I'm going to be ready to move to Town Hall 6 because I'll be out of stuff to upgrade with Elixir. So I definitely have to find a lot of gold in these raids so I can keep upgrading my walls because I definitely want to get those guys to level 5. Uh, but yeah, sort of running out of stuff as far as elixir goes. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to do today. I'm attacking this base here. Most of the stuff is on the mines and pumps, so not too worried about cracking the core. Um, and one last note about elixir. At Town Hall 5, you actually can't upgrade your walls using elixir. If you guys did see the most recent update, I think they made it for level 6 or level 7 walls. I'm not sure exactly which one, but for one of those two, you can actually start upgrading your walls using elixir. So that's definitely going to help out a lot, especially at Town Hall 7 and Town Hall 8 where you really finish your gold upgrades extremely fast and uh, you're sort of just stuck there with a ton of elixir in your storages. That's what they were really trying to do in the most recent update. They were trying to get rid of stuff like that where you weren't using um, your elixir and it was sort of just sitting there and getting stolen. Like you could use it to train your troops, but that was pretty much the only use for elixir. And uh, definitely it's going to help a lot for doing my wall upgrades at a higher town hall level. So for that base there, I actually ended up getting 49%, which was a little bit of a bummer. I had a balloon left, and I might have had a lightning spell left, but I didn't feel like dropping 14,000 elixir on just getting 50%, so I had to surrender at 49. I did have a giant, but the giant uh, obviously wouldn't attack that builder hut on the corner and probably wouldn't be strong enough to attack the uh, archer tower. And maybe I could have used those wall breakers I have left to blow up that builder's hut. I'm not sure exactly. I'd have to look back on it. Uh, but let's look at this next base right here. So again, most of this stuff is on the outside, including these storages. So even if some of the resources are inside of the storages, I'm going to be able to be able to get all of those except for that one gold storage on the right hand side. And I could really crack the base if I needed to, but I don't think I need to waste the troops doing that. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off these mines and pumps, and that should be able to do it for this raid. So I'm at 28%, 31% couple of buildings left probably not worth it so i'm going to surrender here and uh, another hundred thousand resource raid really not that bad at all i definitely needed that one and i'm definitely looking for bases with gold because that's most of the stuff that i'm going to be upgrading today and speaking of gold this base here has 125,000 as well as 200,000 elixir so if we do want to upgrade one of our barracks this will definitely help out and let's go ahead and attack so there's two elixir storages and if you guys do some quick math i wish i could pause it here but um the guy had 125,000 gold and 200,000 elixir. So I'm guessing that most of the gold, since the gold storage has looked empty, is going to be inside of the mines. And then as far as elixir goes, there's going to be the same amount of elixir in the pumps. So there will be 125,000 elixir inside of the pumps. So that's just some rough math that you can use. Um, and I guess since there was only 90,000 inside of the gold mines, there's pretty much going to be nearly the same amount inside of the pumps. And uh, yeah, too much math, but we ended up stealing most of the resources. And that's sort of how you can guess exactly how much is uh, in the mines and pumps. I sort of look at like the storages and if one of the storages are full and the other one is empty, I sort of just like look at it look at the resources based on that and uh, sort of determine how much is where. That probably was extremely confusing and made no sense whatsoever, but I guess after playing Clash for uh, two years, you sort of know the ins and outs of where the resources are. Anyways, I can do a video on that sometime, maybe with an infographic on exactly like how I knew how much was where, but let's look to this next raid where we can probably destroy this base. We're not going to have to use our goblins on the mines and pumps. We can destroy it pretty easily. So taking out most of the troops, going to drop my one lightning spell. And now I can destroy all the defenses on the outside. So I don't remember seeing a mortar. I guess this guy didn't decide that the most important defense for a lower level wasn't that important. Uh, but yeah, going to drop some giants. I don't think I meant to drop. Or actually, no, I only dropped one, so that's fine. Dropping a giant on the bottom, dropping a giant on the right. And then there's also one more cannon on the left-hand side that we'll take care of, and uh, that should be able to do it for this raid. So pretty solid raiding. I mean, these bases are pretty simple, especially in the very beginning. You guys mainly see that I use the same army composition. I've sort of settled down with three giants, three wall breakers, one balloon, maybe around 40 archer or 40 barbarians, and 20 archers, 20 goblins. Somewhere in that range, it sort of just depends on how I'm feeling on the day. But this works out pretty well. I'm able to attack bases um, that have most of the stuff on the outside and be super efficient with it. And then for bases like this, or maybe bases that are slightly harder than this, I can still three-star them if I need to and end up stealing a lot of cups. So this is sort of what I've been using right now. If you guys have been maybe 
if you guys are maybe new to Clash of Clans or uh, you made a new account with me when I started this series, definitely let me know what type of army composition you use because you could probably use a bunch of different stuff. It's not rocket science down here. You could probably just use Barbarian Archer, uh, maybe Barbarian Archer Goblin. You could probably just bring 125 bar or Barbarians and still have a ton of success. So uh, yeah, pretty good right there. And let's move to this last raid. So this guy, almost 100,000 resources. I think this would put me over the edge for the upgrades that I need to get done. So let's go ahead and attack it, even though it definitely doesn't have the resources like some of the bases we had earlier. So first priority whenever I'm attacking a base is obviously the mortar. So I'm going to go ahead and attack that, drop in some giants as well as one of my balloons right there. That's why I do bring that one balloon because for certain bases you can actually destroy a lot of defenses without being attacked. And uh, yeah, slowly moving our way around the base and I think this one should be pretty easy. This guy only has like level 3 cannons maybe, level 3 archer tower, um, and I probably won't have to waste too many more troops. I still have a couple wall breakers left. I actually brought a little bit more than what I needed. I think I... I thought I had zero in my camp, so I trained up three more, but it ended up that I had three already. Uh, but no worries there. Archer Tower's going down. Cannon's going down. And that should wrap it up for this raid. So we have a pretty good amount of resources. We're sitting at over 370,000 of each. Plus, we'll get a little bit of a bonus in just a second. And let's see how much we ended up with for this raid. So 87,700 plus a small bonus of 2,600. Let's head back to base and do our final upgrades for the day. So 830 cups, sort of been staying there for the last three or four episodes. Really a pretty good spot for us right now. Could move up just a little bit, especially when we hit Town Hall 6. We're probably going to want to hang out around 900 to 1,000. But let's go ahead and upgrade this first barracks to level 7. So like I said, really not that important of an upgrade. We're not going to be using wizards too much. If you guys are new to the game, wizards are pretty much a super-powered archer and uh, are more useful later in the game because they're super expensive right now. And they used to be the most expensive per army camp spot, but I know they changed the price and the army or I guess the train time a little bit, I forget. Um, but after upgrading these walls, gonna be a little bit OCD and make sure I upgrade this last wall in the very center. And yeah, I think this will be good for the wall upgrades and we can finish up with one last storage upgrade. All right, guys, that was some pretty solid rating today. We made sure all five of our builders were doing work, as well as we didn't upgrade too many cheap things. We only did upgrade that one gold mine, which was only 26 or 28,000 elixir. Uh, but definitely some solid rating today, and we'll have to keep it up in the next episode. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later. Peace!